Stop being shocked. Stop it. I'm sick of it. Stop being shocked. She's talking about first. I'm talking about everybody that I'm seeing on my goddamn time. Like, oh, we missed them all. Because of little dirt getting arrested. Fuck y'all shocked for. Hmm? That's what come with that motherfucking life. And no, do not compare me. No goddamn Charleston White. I detest that son of a bitch. I'm just being 100. That life is fucked up. And this type of shit they come with. I'm going to talk about this shit briefly. This is a message especially for uh, my youngins out here. And for any of the OGs who are looking for ammunition, try to reach these youngins. Okay? Before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first. And this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button, put all of your people on there. Also, follow me across all social media and feel free to contribute via Cash App, PayPal, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, however you want to give. It is appreciated. Um, yes, yeah, rapper Lil Dirk out of Shot Sh Town recently got arrested. They, they're accusing him of murder for hire. Uh, you know, if, if 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 you're OG out there and you're unfamiliar with Lil Dirk, he's wildly popular amongst the youngins. Uh, his brand of rap is is uh, a part of what they call drill music. Uh, but basically, the whole genre is just about killing motherfuckers. That's that's what it's, it's just about street warfare. That's what that shit about. All right, uh, guys like him, the late King Von. Um, Chief Keith, a whole bunch of motherfuckers out of Florida. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of drill, motherfuckers. There's a lot of folks on that drill scene. You got New York, hell, you even got folks. I, I, I heard it spread overseas. You got London drill rappers, like that's what the genre is about just killing motherfuckers. So, what the fuck? Is anybody shocked for when one of these boys get arrested? You heard the music? Did you not listen to the fucking music? You believe the music because you said, oh, they so real. You know, he did that shit. So when you kill folk, then what happened? You get arrested. If you hire somebody to kill somebody, you get arrested. Somebody his crew snitched on him. That's what motherfuckers do in the streets. All of this for some, all this bullshit that these rappers gonna these records are talking about and act like they so real and ain't no snitching. They yes, it's snitching, man. Even the Italian mob folks be snitching. Street niggas snitch. What's so shocking? Hmm? See, this is shit about rap, gangster rap in particular. Either these motherfuckers be lying, which is immoral. You get on here and say all this wild shit, knowing that you ain't never did this shit, knowing you don't feel this way at all. You just saying this shit so you can sell some records. That's immoral. That's lame as fuck. Or you really live this life, which is traumatic, which is fucked up. It's, it's god awful that your life was jacked up like it is. You grew up in the hood. You grew up in poverty. Uh, and you, you 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 did all this stuff in the streets and, and this is how you feel. And you get on this record and express that shit. That shit's fucked up. That's fucked up. The fact that you killed a bunch of people and then you rapped about it, it's fucked up. Okay? Either way, it's fucked up. Now, some of these cats can take those experiences and, and and weave them into some uh brilliant poetry it, it's aggressive it's dark but the art can be brilliant it can be something that like if you pissed off you put that shit on you vibe when you feel it i understand i'm a rapper i love rap i listen to rap that's my favorite favorite genre of music but i'm just saying be better than me youngins because once upon a time i was shocked 
1996, I was shocked that Tupac got shot. Shouldn't have been shot. The fuck I what why would I why was I shocked that he was killed once the truth came out that he stole on a shooter named Orlando Anderson and they beat the shit out of that motherfucker in the casino after the Mike Tyson fight, stumped that man the fuck the fuck out. But what happens in those situations? That man a killer. That man a damn gangster himself. He, he shot some. That's what happens. But see, motherfuckers want to, oh, the FBI killed Tupac. No, no, the FBI had a file on Tupac because Black Panther um, ties and the positive messages in, 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 in his music. But Pac had another side too, y'all. Pac, Pac was a wild boy. And Pac did some wild shit. And Pac got killed. You can fast forward. Pimp C. Love UGK. Hell, I can make a strong argument that UGK is the greatest rap group of all time. I can argue your ass down. You can give me Wu-Tang. You can give me Outkast. You can give me NWA. You can give me Tribe Called Quest. You can give me whoever the fuck you want to throw in some women's groups. Uh, Salt and Pepper. You, whoever the fuck you want to throw I can make the, a great argument that UGK is the greatest rap group of all time. I love Pimp C. Okay? I shouldn't have been shocked when he died. Shouldn't have been shocked. He talked about lean in the motherfucker. He on sipping on syrup. He, 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 his verse, one of the most iconic verses in Southern rap, show sure enough. Why was I shot? Young and I think. Fast forward. Why was anybody shocked by what happened to Nipsey Hussle? Hmm. Why be shot? He was a crip. Allegedly insulted another crip. Called him a snitch in the streets. Even though motherfucker be snitching left and right in the streets, them fighting words. This is the shit that happens, man, when it comes to this street shit. It, it just is. It is. So we need to stop being shocked by any of this shit, man. And we got to look at ourselves and say, bro, what the fuck going on? This shit can be prevented. A lot of this shit can be prevented, man. Rich Homie. Love Rich Homie's music. Dying from an overdose. Shit, you, you hear what he was rapping about? He talking about drug in the, in the damn songs. So I, I, the reason why I'm giving you this message is because I think I think uh, uh, so many of us listen to this shit, particularly our young people who don't know how to listen to it. Thankfully, I learned, I taught myself how to listen to rap and how to just uh, treat it like a movie. Like I can watch Scarface, the movie. I appreciate it. It is art and then not go out there and sell cocaine. All right. So I, I taught myself to do the music like that as well. Listen to, I can listen to Jay-Z and Biggie and Pac and uh, UGK and all these cats, T.I. and Lil Wayne. And I can tell myself, oh, man, these boys just talking. Like you can, you can decipher like what's real shit, what's bullshit. Lil Wayne, for instance. Largely just talking bullshit. Lil Wayne been famous. He's really a child star who who turned out to be a, a mega star when he was grown. He really is. He's been he been famous since he was a fucking child. So most of that shit that man be talking about on records, that motherfucker has not done any of that shit. He just really be making the words rhyme. And he's one of the greatest ever at that. And I just accept him as such. While simultaneously, simultaneously knowing he's really not the most moral motherfucker, I shouldn't really come to him for certain things. I'm just here to be entertained. 
Just here to be entertained. And that's the way a lot of y'all youngest, bro. You get you gotta listen to this shit in that way and not be influenced negatively by what you hear these motherfuckers talking about because clearly it ain't working for them. Clearly, the, the, the drinking and the drugging and the damn drilling, that shit is not working for them, man. It's not. To make all this money making this fucking music and then die early or go to prison, what the fuck is that? You ain't getting a chance to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You're not. Meanwhile, you got these white boys that make these gangster movies and shit like that, like a, a Francis Ford Coppola. Hope I'm saying his name cor correctly. I apologize if I'm not. But that's the motherfucker that made the Godfather. That man got to get old. I'm, uh, uh, I mentioned Scarface. Al Pacino played in the Godfather, played in Scarface, did all these fucking movies. He got a chance to get old. He made that art, but he ain't trying to imitate the art. These boys, some of them, just lying, putting out shit. Again, that's some more. I view that actually worse than the boys who actually went through this shit in the hood and then rap about it. Okay, at, at least them motherfuckers are speaking their, their truth. They're speaking their life experience. Let me put it like that. They're speaking their life experiences. It's, it's fucked up that their lives were like that. Like, I saw someone online that said Lil Durk's dad was in prison. So, he, you know, his life started off fucked up. I know, I listened to Jay-Z. I know his life was fucked up. Daddy left. Mama working all them jobs and shit like that. His uncle got killed. And growing up in, in the projects, it, it, it was fucked up. Y'all know Tupac's life was fucked up. Mama was addicted to crack and all that kind of shit. Like, so many of these motherfuckers' lives are fucked up. And if their uh, uh, upbringing was different, they wouldn't have they probably wouldn't be rapping about what they are rapping about. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's fucked up. But you would hope that as they age, they realize, hey, what I did in the streets as a result of my upbringing was fucked up. And yeah, I rapped about it in my youth, but goddamn, let me let me make sure I throw something else in here to let these folks know that I this ain't the right way. Like that's one of the reasons why I like uh, uh ti you know on his albums yeah he would make shit like uh uh dope boys in the trap very negative message for our people uh but he also makes songs like be better than me uh he would also make songs like um uh, no basically with the message that this ain't what the fuck you need to do you feel me? You, you pretty much find records like that on every album almost from him. You no, know, Ho made a song like Regrets, you know, where you clearly see that he kind of regretted what he did in the streets. Like some of these guys give you messages in the midst of the music, kind of let you know that you know this ain't the fucking way to go. And I can appreciate that. But as a youngin, you got to know how to listen to that. And as OGs, we got to teach these youngins how to listen to this motherfucking music. To look for those instances as well. They may overlook those things. Just kind of like with the movies. Um, I remember I showed my youngins, my former students. I showed this in class. I used to do something called character education. Uh, before I started teaching U.S. history, uh, I had more flexibility and I could do things uh kind of the way i wanted to do it you know to my because you know with, with the pacing when you're teaching one of those subject area tested courses you know uh in the state of mississippi you got to pass these tests to graduate from high school they may change that soon whatever but when i was doing my thing you know you had to pass the algebra one test english two test biology one test and u.s history test okay uh so once i started teaching that i just had to you know be focused on that but when i was just teaching like Mississippi studies, world geography, world history, shit like that. Every Friday, I got outside of the book and just did life shit. You know, somebody, you know, if we had a test or something, I would administer the test. But then right after that, we just did life and talked about real shit. Like, so from August to December, we did like a, a, a topics. You know, we just talked about particular to topics, like so gang banging, uh, sex. Ooh, uh, obesity crisis, uh, death, how to how to grieve, all that kind of shit. 
but then we also did a film series, you know, to my and uh, I remember showing. I don't know if I showed this whole movie. I don't think I showed the whole movie, but I know I showed the clip from Paid in Full. You know, the opening where they flashing all the money and shit, and uh, uh, you know, and they at the table playing, you know, the basketball with the the garbage can basketball, and you know, my boys and they bitch lit. Oh, you know, they excited about that because they seen all that money. But you also see Lucky Ace. You see his character get shot, and you see him on that table, and they ask him, "Who did this to you?" And he says, "Me." So a lot of kids will miss that because that damn story, the whole story, is a cautionary tale. Hell, if you listen to the real Ace A Z, you can listen to his any of his interviews on on the internet, and he'll tell you that my story is a cautionary fucking tale. That's why I wrote the damn movie. And so people wouldn't do what I did. But it takes OGs to point that kind of shit out to kids, man, because they just might get enamored with all that. Just like with, with dirt. These kids listen to that shit and they see the woman he was fucking, they wanna they wanna fuck a woman like that with that big booty. They they wanna uh have their hair like he is. They wanna have all the jewels and the cars and them guns. They want all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But they need the OGs to point out that real shit about all that to them. You know what I'm talking about? So please, to my youngers out there, man, stop being shocked when you see something like this having one of these motherfucking rappers, man, and let it be a uh, deterrence for you. Let it be something that shows you, bro, y'all out here being with these motherfucking switches and y'all out here shooting up shit and uh, you influenced by this drill shit. And some of y'all got some real shit going on in your life. You got real smoke. You got real beef with somebody, man. You know what I'm talking about? And, and you listen to these motherfuckers and you see how they handle their beef and, you, uh, and all that kind of shit. Bro, you see what's on the other end of it. If there can be a, 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 a resolution to your conflict that don't... If, there's some OGs willing to goddamn just let y'all fight it out and be done with it. Do that. Do that. Do that. Rather than do what Dirk did. Because if this brother is found guilty, what they talking about? Y'all ain't going to see or hear from him in a minute. Just like Thug, young Thug. You ain't, you ain't seen, you see him. You see him in a courtroom. Ain't no way to live. Ain't no fucking way to live, man. So don't let this shit be shocking to you because all this is what comes with that life. And that is a life you do not want to live. Put it on some.